TV.com, YouTube, what's going on? Sorry for the glass being dirty. I don't have Windex. Got to get some. There's my magic trigger coming out. So today I'm talking about safety in the aquarium. Cannot stress this enough. Cannot stress this enough. Not saying you have to get one of these, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. But a lot of people do not realize that they're putting a lot of electricity right beside a lot of water. <laughs> electricity and water do not mix. And if you're being shocked by your aquarium, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you know what I mean. So what's some good tips you can follow to make sure you don't kill yourself or your fish or burn down your house? God forbid. First of all, you want to install drip loops. You see these drip loops down here? This water drips down. It can't go back up to the electric sockets all the way up here. Um, water has to fall down gravity, and it has to follow gravity. If it comes down here, it falls in that point, it's going to fall back down to the ground. And it, will, it won't go uphill. So, <clears throat> I just want to make sure you all know what a drip loop is. Install a drip loop. Please, guys, I'm begging you. Install drip loops in your tank. If it, I mean, you, a lot of people say, oh, it's never going to happen to me. My, my tank will be fine. Well, you know what? It, when you get that rude awakening one day that it could be you, <laughs> you're going to wish you had drip loops. And so I was thinking about it, and I was going to get this for my 125, and I'm going to hold it off. I'm going to get a bigger one for my 125, and this is going to be for my 55. And I'm only going to put this one on here, and I'm going to have a different one for the lighting. This is going to be everything else but lighting on here because this doesn't have a timer, and I want to regulate light lighting with timers. Um, that way I can create a good dawn dust effect. Now I could, I'm going to put them all on here for the time being, but in the future I'm going to get another one for the 55 gallon. That way um, it's on a timer, it's set, it's good. Um, so yeah. So here we go. This is a surge protector. Surge protectors are basically surge protectors. What's a surge? Surges are electricity, you know, when you get too much electricity going to a socket or something with the power goes funky. It can save your outlets. It can save your um, your appliances. Like, say I had an electric surge and it just went crazy. It, uh, it could break the heater or the pump or anything and it could save that stuff because it will automatically shut off when the surge happens. This way your outlets stay safe and your appliances stay safe. So I'm going to take this thing out of the box. It looks like out of the box basically. You've got some cables right here. This is for audio and stuff for like TVs or whatever. Anyways, um, this is a good thing. When you're not using an appliance hold, you can turn that little cord, no water, and nothing can get in there. That way you know it's safe. So once an appliance goes in there, you know, you turn it and you can plug it in there. But when you're not using it, you can turn it like that. And you know it's that much safer preventing water or whatever getting into there. So I'm going to set this up in a minute. But I want to show you something on the 125. Hopefully you guys can see this because the water is kind of cloudy from my sink and I used it to do a water change. So you can see what I made with the DIY diffuser. Water is going up. I mean CO2 is going into the diffuser if my angel fish moves. And CO2 wants to go up, but I've got a pump on there pushing water down. That way the water, the CO2 stays in there, but the water can come out. And CO2 can 100% diffuse in the aquarium water. And this is what I want because I know I'm getting that much better CO2 injection into my system. So, yeah, I'm really pumped up about that. So let me show you the overall look of the tank. I got so many dislikes from this video, my other video. And I mean, yeah, the tank looks like crap. And if you're disliking it for the tank looking like crap, I mean, tell me why you're disliking it. Because I want to know. That way I can um, make my channel better. Don't be scared to tell me why you dislike it. Just tell me and be, be straight up with me and tell me why you disliked it. I'm not going to be mad at you. I won't stop watching your videos. Um, just tell me. That way I can make my channel better. Um, I appreciate it if you tell me. That way I, I can make the channel better. So CO2 diffuser on here. Now somebody said CO2 doesn't mix with the, with the unbalanced tank. But let me get this straight right now. All right. Unbalanced tank. This tank is not lo no longer unbalanced. You see this test kit right here? This is the ammonia test kit. You see that yellow? I got zero ammonias and zero phosphates again, so it's back on track. I told you guys, capping the dirt would take care of it, and it did. And the sink down here, it, I took care of it, and it worked. I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, tank's kind of right now, but I'm going to get it back on track. So, let me take you to the 55 gallon. There you have it. My appliances are connected to a surge protector. I'm going to get another one for my uh, for my lighting system. That way it can be on two separate ones and it's a little more safer. You don't want to overdo it on your surge protectors because they only can take a certain amount of voltage. Now when it just moved, it, it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> it was the uh, cord. It's not straightened up yet. I'm going to mount it to the wall a better way. So 55 gallon is a little safer now. 
I'm going to get another one for it, and I'm definitely going to get one for the 50, uh, 125, a huge one for the 125. That's what's up, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Be safe with your aquariums. Remember to check all your plugs, put drip loops and stuff in there. I do not want to see anybody burning their house down or electrocuting themselves or their fish or whatever they got. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later. Almost forgot to tell you guys, I hit 503 subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Um, tell your friends because I want to help out as many as you as I can. If I can help out one person with their aquarium or help saving their fish or their plant or their coral or whatever they got, that's my job completed. So made a channel to help out people, and I'm glad I'm helping out 503 people. That's awesome. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.